psych major evaluation of how he just handled that? I didn't love it, Greeny. Because at least <laughs> Rogers is creepy, as weird as it was. Like, it gave me something. Like, I felt some sort of emotion. Like, watching Tom, what, what struck me is everything, the TB12 method is not working. <laughs> On the sidelines, smashing tablets, yelling at guys. Um, what he says at the podium, like, none, it seems very ineffectual. Like, nothing is giving me, okay. The Bucks are good. What I'm leaning on in terms of thinking that the Bucks will be better is that they have talent. They have a Hall of Fame quarterback. They have one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. They have good coaches. So at some point, they're going to figure it out, and guys will get healthy. But that's that's what you're banking on when you're looking at the Bucks. This was not the planned question, but it just jumped into my head when you mentioned the smashing of the tablets. So we've seen Brady, Chris Canty, wearing out his teammates on the sideline. Mm -hmm. That's not the same kind of public that being on the Pat McAfee show is, but it's still public. He's aware that people can see it, and the video goes over and over again. So which which of yeah, those? Chris, like, how about that side of it? Why You've got, is that okay, Chris? No, I'm not, it's a question. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not is, is that, in your view, a, a better way of letting your teammates know how dissatisfied you are <laughs> than going on a talk show <laughs> and saying we got to start benching people, as opposed to literally wearing these guys out to their face? Well, I get the optics of what Tom Brady is doing on the sideline, but hearing from Rob Nikovich, Matt Castle, and other teammates. It's it's not as if it appears from the outside looking in. This is Tom Brady trying to fire up his guys and trying to get them to play with the level of urgency that's needed to get this thing turned around. But here's the problem with doing that. When you miss the walkthrough in the mm -hmm. meetings before the mm -hmm. game because you're Talk going to Robert Kraft's wedding, when you take a week and a half off during training camp, that doesn't necessarily reflect the kind of urgency that you're preaching to mm -hmm. us that it takes in order to compete at a high level in this league. Now, I'm not saying that Tom Brady has an issue relating to his teammates in the way that I think Aaron Rodgers does, but what I am saying is when Brady is not there subconsciously, the, the urgency, yeah. yes. the, the attention to detail is not necessarily the same. The, Tom the, Brady is the guy yeah, that sets the temperature for how these guys – Focus on what they're doing, the intensity, the urgency, and that's just not there now with the Bucks. Yeah, the temperature in the locker room changes when Tom Brady's not there, and if he's not as committed, it's harder for you to be in the same way or you to be committed in the same way. But I think as, as someone who's had games and had series of games that went poorly – I never started playing better because somebody yelled in my face. <laughs> At no point did I start trying harder because my quarterback or coach said to the media, man, we sure do got to play better at corner. Like, that doesn't work. <laughs> and I understand how the optics of it are uncomfortable. So the, the argument there is – if I, so in Tom Brady's mind, he's like, all right, these, this isn't working. These guys aren't blocking hard enough. Let me yell at them. Right. Now they're really going to want it. They wanted it before. And in Aaron Rodgers' perspective, I think Aaron Rodgers, at least I can find the logic behind that. Because at this point, Aaron Rodgers is like, look, we've tried everything. Sit these bums down. <laughs> like, that makes sense to me. Yelling at them doesn't. What do you think, Mike T? The whole, the whole, the Brady of it all, because this is a guy you obviously know so well from yeah. all those years. And what would Tom Brady say if you're sitting here? Well done is better than well said. And right now, he's not playing good football. I was in Pittsburgh two weeks ago. Pittsburgh had three practice squad corners called up, and they couldn't get the ball down the field. He's dirting throws. Can't convert a third and one. They lose to Carolina, who loses Robbie Anderson, Christian McCaffrey, Matt Rule. It's unacceptable how he's playing right now. So the dower we see publicly, mm -hmm. to me, is a result going back to his performance. But here's, the thing, though, we here's the thing, though, Mike T. You say Tom Brady's not playing well. Tom Brady, on the third play of the game against the Carolina Panthers, throws a dime to Mike Evans. Yeah. And Mike, yeah, Evans, Mike, drops, drops, and Mike Evans drops the ball. You yep. look at the defense for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You got guys in the front seven jumping out of gaps. Deonta Foreman and Chuba Hubbard, they still hitting their head on the goalpost. That ain't got nothing to do with Tom Brady in terms of his overall production. But for what it does to have something to do with Tom Brady is him setting the agenda for the franchise. And I think it's fair to be critical of him in that regard. Another person that we got to start looking at, Kmart, you mentioned it, Todd Bowles. But wait, hold on. There's, there's a difference in yeah. terms of the team's attitude with Todd Bowles versus what we Go see ahead, with Mike. Bruce Evans. Yeah. The definition of greatness is to cover all that up. That's what Tom Brady did for 25 years. Right. Go ahead, Kmart. We talk about uh, in training camp, I think what tight end Cameron Brate said when Brady was absent it's like, it felt weird because he's this omnipresent being. Yeah. And I think what we've seen this year from Brady is he's been omni-absent. Like, he just <laughs> seems like not really in it. And I think that's a hard thing for this Bucks team because that's different. They play tomorrow night again against Baltimore. That is, we haven't had the greatest. Th Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.